Hello, I'm Chris Kalanzanis. I'm Varun Gupta. And I'm Kai Higdon. And we are from the Department of Plastic Surgery at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. We are here to discuss our paper, Incidents and Major Risk Factors for Surgical Site Infections in Aesthetic Surgery, Analysis of 129,007 Patients, which will be published in the upcoming January issue of the Aesthetic Surgery Journal. Surgical site infections represent one of the most common postoperative complications in patients undergoing aesthetic surgery. Without large sample sizes and multi-institutional studies, it is difficult to generalize conclusions. In our study, we reviewed a large insurance database of patients undergoing aesthetic surgical procedures. Our goal was to determine the incidence of major com complications of infection, including those requiring ER visit, hospital admission, a reoperation within 30 days of the operation among cosmetic procedures which are most commonly performed alone or in combination with other procedures. Another objective was to identify significant risk factors for major complications after cosmetic surgery. Over a five-year period, we evaluated over 129,000 patients and found major infections to be the second most common complication after hematomas, affecting 0.46% of the patients. The highest rates of major infections were observed in trunk and extremity procedures. On logistic regression analysis, several risk factors for major infections were identified, including age, female gender, body mass index, smoking, diabetes, the procedure being performed in a hospital or accredited surgical center rather than office-based surgical suites, trunk and extremity procedures rather than face and breast procedures, as well as combined procedures. So in conclusion, we demonstrated that the overall incidence of major infections after aesthetic surgical procedures is very low, but it should not be underestimated. Several risk factors were identified, some of which are modifiable. A thorough knowledge of all of the risk factors for this commonly encountered complication will allow providers to better educate patients and be more cognizant of high-risk patients. These actions can potentially improve patient safety and postoperative outcomes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.